Hello everyone, today I will talk about power regulators, power supplies, how do they work, and what should you do if they are not working properly. Okay? So, almost every motherboard have same structure as this, what I will draw now. Maybe some motherboards have a different structure, but almost around 99% of motherboards have the same. So, a power regulator is a chip, okay? A chip that controls MOSFETs. For example, if we have here two MOSFETs, this will be called high MOSFET. And this one is low MOSFET. Okay? Both of these MOSFET gates are connected to the voltage regulator chip. And the output of these two MOSFETs, the source of this one, let's write here source and here drain, are connected together. The low MOSFET drain is connected to ground. and the high MOSFET drain is connected I mean the low MOSFET source is connected to ground and the high MOSFET drain is connected to 19 volts power rail okay so if for example We need to have, let's say, 1.5 volts output here. Okay? The chip will open the 19, uh, the high side MOSFET first, and then it will turn it off, and then it will open the low side MOSFET but this happens really fast these two gates of these MOSFETs are controlled by a PWM signal so in order to have 1.5 volts here at the output the 19 volts from the 19 volts I mean 1.5 volts from the 19 volts these two MOSFETs have to be controlled in order so that we have only 1.5 volts output if this MOSFET kept open at the all time all the time we will not get 1.5 volts here we will get 19 volts instead and if this low MOSFET kept open all the time we will not get get anything at the output because this is like a short to ground okay so if this MOSFET goes shorted you will find a 19 volts here at the output at the output there is a coil and after the coil there is ceramic capacitors to ground a couple of ceramic capacitors all of them connected to ground and here we have 1.5 volts okay these capacitors are used to smooth the output of these two MOSFETs. These MOSFETs 
as we said, are controlled by a PWM signal at their gates. So we will have a kind of smooth output, DC output, but it's not that smooth. So we need a smoothing capacitors at the output. So these capacitors will get rid of the rebels of the 1.5 volts. Okay, this chip, in order for it to get to give the orders for the gates of these two MOSFETs to open, it must have an enable signal or enable bin. This enable bin, let's write EN. This enable bin is connected to the super IO. Super IO. Okay. If, for example, this enable signal is missing, you should have no voltage at the output of these two MOSFETs. This chip also should have a VCC bin. Most of the time it's 5 volts. And some of the chips have 19 volts. And it should have a ground also. This is called a single output voltage regulator because it's out, it outputs only 1.5 volts only. There is another type of chips that can control two outputs. So if there, this is the power regulator chip, it can control two MOSFETs in here, in this side, and two MOSFETs at this side. And this is called a double power regulator chip. Okay, so also this one should have two enable bins for this power supply, uh, for this output and for this output. And these two enable bins are connected to the super IO. Super IO. And also it should get a VCC bin and a ground bin. And also these two MOSFETs, one of them is connected to ground and one, the, one of them is connected to 19 volts. The same here, 19 volts and ground. For example, we have here output here 5 volts and here 3.3 volts. So the voltage regulators are all the same, but some of them can will only control one side or single power regulator or double power regulator that controls four MOSFETs. So you get two outputs out of it. Okay, so if for example, you are not getting this 1.5 volts, what should you do? First, you need to check, do we have a short here? If there is no short to ground at this output, then check, do we get the enable signal from the super IO? If yes, we do get the enable signal from the super IO and we are having no short at the output of these two MOSFETs, then it must be either the chip itself faulty or those two MOSFETs are not opening correctly. So if this, for example, the high side MOSFET is not opening, check at the gate, do we have the 19 volts, for example, 
or 20, 24 volts at the gate. So there is two types of MOSFETs. One is N-channel and one is P-channel. Okay? The N-channel should get at the gate should get a positive voltage like let's say 24 volts when it when you want it to conduct you should give it a 24 volts or 26 or 20 volts or 90 even 19 it's okay at the gate so it will conduct the B channel at its off state when you measure the gate at its off state you will find 19 volts 19 volts at off state but when you want it to conduct you have to give it a negative voltage like zero volts okay when it is on you will find a zero volts at the gate of the b channel mosfet unlike the n channel mosfet you will find a 24 volts or even 19 at on state and zero volts at off state See, so they are opposite to each other. Okay? This is a short video about voltage regulators and how do you check if you are missing an output of a voltage regulator. So, a brief of what we have said. The power chip, the power regulator chip have a VCC bin in order for it to work and a ground and it should get a, a enable signal from the super IO then the when when this chip gets the enable signal it will output a BWM to control the high and low MOSFETs okay so these MOSFETs will output a regulated voltage and this regulated voltage will pass through a coil and then we will have a bypass capacitors and these capacitors are only used to smooth the output this bin I, I forget to say that this pin will always be connected to the chip itself for it to monitor the output of these two MOSFETs. If, for example, this output gets too high, this pin is as a feedback and it monitors the frequency that it op in order for it to open these two MOSFETs, the frequency of the BWM. So if the voltage in here goes up, it will lower the BWM duty cycle of the high side MOSFETs. So if, for example, it was opening at or driving it at 50% duty cycle, it will lower this duty cycle. So it will go, for example, 25 or let's say 30 30 percent of duty cycle so this MOSFET output will be lowered and the voltage here will be regulated it will not go up and it will not go down okay if this one of these capacitors goes shorted you will have short when you measure here you have to inject voltage and check with your hands or either use a thermal camp if available and you need to either replace it or you just remove it and it should work 
Okay, so this is for today. I hope this is will be helpful for someone. If you like my video, please don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Thank you for watching and see you in another video.